Well, my dear friends. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be feeding, oh no we're not, what am I talking about? Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today we are actually going to be rehousing quite a few tarantulas. I wanted to make some really special enclosures, so I kind of accumulated some pretty neat little pieces to add to them. I did want to mention that my masks are up on my Teespring shop. If you guys want to get one, go for it. It's linked down below. I think they're pretty cool, but I'm biased, so. Anyway, I don't really have much else to say, so let's just get into it. <laughs> First, we are actually going to be fixing this suspected girl's enclosure. As you can see, there is this weird mold fungus looking stuff. So I'm not gonna be changing her container. I'm actually just going to switch out the substrate. Now, this is my Blue Dwarf Beauty and she is actually one of my most feisty tarantulas, surprisingly. Oh, and if you're wondering why my hands look like this, I washed my hair and it kind of all came off on my nails. And then this nail I broke like really bad. So I didn't take the nail polish off. Normally I don't mention those kind of things, but I know when I'm editing this, it's gonna bother me. So it's probably bothering you too. Oh, there she is. Check out those colors though. She is so gorgeous. So what I think I'm going to do is just try to lure her into a separate container so that I can fix this one. Let's see if I can try to poke her onto this. I could probably do that. Hopefully we don't have a run, but that's why I've got it double like this. So that's not, ah, <laughs> that's not my favorite thing. Mm. <laughs> Maybe if I just use this. Yes. Yes, you want to go up in that. Yes. Yes. No. No. Look, I am trying to like literally help you. You literally have nowhere to go. So you might as well just like listen. <laughs> oh. There we go. I'm actually not gonna snap that shut because I don't want to clamp a paw. And I'm gonna go dump out this old substrate and the trash. Remove this pumpkin. Okay, awesome. We are all clean. So I believe the old substrate I had in there, I think was Eco Earth. I honestly don't remember. It could have been Jungle Mix, but I haven't really had that issue much with Jungle Mix. So I'm assuming it was Eco Earth. Today we are going to be using Reptis soil. I'm not gonna be giving her the most substrate ever because as you guys see, she's a heavy Weber. I am gonna be reusing this pumpkin because I personally love this pumpkin. I've used it for several different tarantulas and it's just one of my favorites. We will be doing some leaves, some moss, and let's toss in a pretty geode and also a little water dish. There's also one more little ornament that I wanna toss in, which are these cute little mushrooms. And now we're gonna try to get her back in without any incidents. Try not to scare her. Look at her and look at the booty. She's absolutely gorgeous. And I think she's gonna like this. Let's try to get her to go down. Oh, we're in a good mood today, I see. That's right. Oh, no, 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 that's wrong. See the little threat pose? Okay, I just wanna take this from you. You don't need it. So there we go. It is taken care of. She's now free to web it all back up and hopefully we won't have any more issues with that. And I will pop some water in her dish later on. So yeah, there we go. So next we are actually going to be rehousing my Lazadora Parabana or my Pink Salmon Bird Eater. This is a sling that I have had for quite a long time and we finally had a few growth spurts. So I think we're ready to move to a larger enclosure. Also the lid on this one is pretty flimsy. So it does kind of concern me that she is at the size now where she could probably just push her way out if she really wanted to. And we don't want her to. <laughs> Pork. I think that's a pretty good little setup for her. Now let's try to get her into the new enclosure. There you go. Got her right in the tube. Oh, okay. <laughs> she jumped in and out of the tube really quick. Sure hope we will be able to get her out of the tube. Okay, there you go. That's such a pain. There you go. Yes. There we go. Took a minute to coax her out, but we got her out. She's got so much more space and definitely more stuff to like hide and 
burrow with. So this is going to be much better. We have a, another cube. And this one, we are going to be putting just a small little Brachypelma Hamori. Looks like a pretty decent amount of substrate to a little piece of cork. Leaves. And we'll use this rock that I found. It has little fossils all over it, so it's a pretty cool piece. Yeah, this is pretty nice. Just do a simple little, little one of these. Perfect. And toss that little leaf in there too. And there we go. A nice new little enclosure. Plenty of more substrate to dig. Lid and we are done. Four more to go though. So next we are actually going to be rehousing Wednesday, my velvet spider into this little enclosure. If you guys weren't aware, Tarantula Cribs actually sent me some of these really nice enclosures and I love them. They're super sturdy. And they also have really nice ventilation already drilled in, plus the lid slides at the top with this magnetic piece. I actually already rehoused a tarantula into one, and so far I love it. So anyway, I wanted to rehouse Wednesday into one of these because I love these enclosures. Put some substrate in. She does not need a lot because she doesn't really use it at all. I did want to give her one of these cool little mushrooms. I do want to add some of this green moss, even though I'm going to be keeping the other moss, just because I think it'll look good with these mushrooms. And then a little glittery rock, of course, and a big one too. So now let's move over her piece of cork just to see how that looks in the enclosure. And then I will see like what I want to add or not add. I'm just trying to figure out how to position this really like good it's like she had it a certain way in her old enclosure i mean really i guess this is fine it does seem to be pretty secure but i just want to make sure that it won't fall over or collapse on her <laughs> she's waving at me she's probably really irritated she doesn't seem scared she just seems really irritated actually maybe i can get it to be like her other hmm oh yeah that's good right there. Okay, yeah, that, that should actually work perfect. And really, I don't think we need to add anything else. I think this is actually a really nice little upgrade. She still has her cork piece. It's still hers. She still has the moss, but she has a little bit more room and a little bit more decor. So check that out. That looks so good. I love it. Yeah, if you guys want to order from this website, Tarantula Cribs, they have an Etsy and they also have a regular website you can order from and they customize enclosures as well. These are also stackable. Personally, I really do like these, and if you do order one, I actually have a code for you guys, CAT10, to get 10% off your order. So if that's something you want to do, I definitely suggest it. So we have another Tarantula Cribs enclosure, and in this one, I'm going to rehouse my Homeoma species blue, which is right down here. One of my personal favorites and definitely deserves an upgrade because this enclosure is really just not my favorite. Yeah, that's definitely good. So I actually found this over in like a creek. Don't worry, there are no sharp edges on it and I did clean it. So I thought this would make a perfect tarantula hide. Let's try to put it like, right? Some cork, leaf litter, a little bit of green. <laughs> Yeah, okay, I think that looks pretty good. What do you guys think? This sling, I feel like it's a little spicy, but I don't really remember. We're gonna just try this way. No. Oh, it thinks I'm food. You guys see this? I'm definitely not food. I will give you food. Let go. Oh my God, let go. I'm gonna go out. Out, out. I just like it when they go on their own free will where I don't have to like do anything. Yes, we are going in the right direction. Mm hmm. Perfect. <laughs> Oh, I love it. I love this enclosure. Anyway, Ezra Bronitens. Freaking crazy. Not looking forward to this 
at all. But check out this enclosure. This is the next size up from the ones we just used. I actually rehoused my Pamphibedius species Machala and the other because he gave me two of these. So I um, definitely want to rehouse my S. Robrana tends into one because if you haven't noticed, she's gotten massive. <laughs> it kind of blows my mind that I've actually been keeping tarantulas about three years now, actually a little bit over three years now. And those slings that I got when I just like started out are turning into like these really Really beautiful juveniles. Now she doesn't really burrow much, never really has. Maybe if we mix this up, I don't know. I always get splinters when I do that. It's a nice piece of wood, I think. Yeah, that should be good. Sparkly rocks. Let's do a sparkly. Let's do a couple sparkly. No, let's just do one. No, let's do a couple. Let's do a couple. Yeah. Okay. How are we gonna do this? So what I think I'm gonna have to do is this method. Just in case we decide to go for a walk. She bites first and asks questions later with food. So I have no reason to think she wouldn't do the same to my finger. Now we're gonna try to poke her onto this. Goodness, she was so small when I got her. This is a really cool new enclosure. Oh, no, not on me, not on me. <laughs> I don't trust her. <laughs> Can I help it? Thank you very much. Hell yes. This enclosure looks so good. What do you guys think? I think that these are just so freaking pretty. Like you guys only see it from the top, but from the side it looks really cool too. Oh, I actually do have a water dish for her that I meant to drop in because she does like it a little bit more damp, so. Yeah, okay, very cool. One more tarantula that we have to rehouse. Drum roll, please. It's peaches! She's totally fine in here. But when I rehoused her, remember I said it seemed a little small to me. Tarantula Cribs sent us this bad boy, which is just the right size. Like I said in my other video, this size is fine. This is fine. But I want to put her in this. It's not much bigger, but like it actually kind of is if you like look at it from like this portion plus this is like straight up and down where this the critter keepers are actually like smaller on the bottom and then they get larger on the top so i really do like this i'm actually going to use that substrate as well as this i'm just going to give her a little bit of this before i do that because we literally just put her in this enclosure and i don't want it to really go to waste yeah this is actually like a lot bigger than i kind of thought it would be can i actually just like get you to easily go in this for me Mmm, that's a nice hair kicking today, I see. Mmm, nice, perfect. Exactly what I like and expect out of you. Mm. All right, we're coming along. Do some more mushrooms over here. Okay, I think that's pretty good. I mean, a little water dish I gave her, but she like took it right away and put it in her house. All right, let's get her in here. Oh, she is. Where is the lid? Great, lovely. You can go ahead and get down now. Ta -da! One pout peaches. She only has one pout, but it does not slow her down. She does still eat really well, so that's great. Yeah, I think that this is perfect. It's just larger than the other one was, but I was able to kind of give her a little bit more space because I did notice she wasn't really using that height. I think this looks great. I think she looks better in this. 
and there we go so yeah there you guys have it we did one two three four five six seven rehousings seven tarantulas and their new enclosures well six tarantulas and one true spider right down here and i really like these little mushrooms i added and some little treasures that i've found but yeah i love this i love these tarantula cribs enclosures i'll be eventually getting more of these so we will be doing more rehousings okay so i hope you guys enjoyed the video like it if you did subscribe if you're not and you want to be don't forget i have an instagram that i use probably way too much it's at tarantula.cat you can go follow me there i also have a patreon teespring and a podcast it's all linked down below and i will see you guys soon soon. Stay well.